Hello friends, it's good to be with you again. Now James writes in James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4, be glad even if you have a lot of trouble. You know that you learn to endure by having your faith tested. But you must learn to endure everything so that you will be completely mature and not lacking in anything. Now trouble isn't something that we're usually glad to have, is it? In fact, we probably try and avoid it or pray for it to end quickly. When life brings us to a low, we can become low with it and get tired waiting for a good season to come along. How often do we begin to question God's goodness and nearness? How often do we end up asking God why? But James tells us that through tough times we gain endurance and spiritual maturity. And the same thought appears in Romans chapter 5 verses 3 and 4 where it says we continue to shout our praise even when we're hemmed in with troubles because we know how troubles can develop passionate patience in us and how that patience in turn forges the tempered steel of virtue keeping us alert for whatever God will do next. So you see our faith grows when it's put to the test. Tough times require us to really trust God and lean on him for support. We start to realise that we can't control everything and that ultimately God is the one in control. We might not get answers to our whys but what we will get if we ask is a how. God will show us how he can use the situation we're in to develop us into who he has created us to be. And so when we're facing trouble, let's not become discouraged and frustrated, but instead keep focused on what God can do through it. Let's pray. We'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.